I'm Tess Alborn, and I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes today about this research project we're working on here at Michigan Tech. Um, this project is sponsored by the U.S. DOT um, through their RETA pro program, which is the Research and Innovative Technology Administrative Program. We're looking at trying to apply commercial remote sensing techniques to understand bridge condition assessment. We have a number of specimens that are out here today. Um, we have a series of beams that have been damaged in the lab that we can take a look at now to see that we have pretty much the good, the bad, and the ugly and to try and understand some of these remote sensing techniques. Chris russi has got some information here on the radar that we're actually talking about today and trying to do some demonstrations for this project. It all lends to trying to help the bridge inspector make a better um, decision on the condition of a bridge and when we need to repair it or rehabilitate to get it back up to the expectations of the public for their service. I'm Chris Rusi from Michigan Tech Research Institute in Ann Arbor and uh, I'm here today making radar measurements of some concrete samples. All right, so what we're doing here today is making measurements of concrete samples for a project uh, on bridge condition assessment. Uh, we're making measurements with a radar. The antennas are here. And uh, the radar is set up to transmit on wavelengths that are both penetrative and reflective. And we're hoping that at the lower frequencies, the uh, radar will penetrate into the concrete and allow us to see subsurface uh, structural changes that might be important in diagnosing uh, bridge conditions. And at the higher frequencies, we'll see surface roughness and surface spalling that uh, would also indicate uh, bridge condition. Um, we can adjust the radar in a number of ways, and uh, we're trying to uh, get as, as a wide variety of measurements as we can. Here's a beam that has cracking in it that has been tested in the lab, so it has not been in service for traffic, but it's one of these beams that we can use for comparison against uh, non-damaged beams to see if our technologies are working appropriately. Some of the technologies may even be able to show if the construction t um, technique has been applied properly before the bridge beams would even go into service. Uh, this is a beam that has had a compression failure. It's a reinforced concrete beam with a compression failure. We can see that the concrete has blown out of the top and some of the rebar that's interior to the beam has actually buckled into a different shape than the straight bars. These are simulations of bridge decks. They're, uh, the smaller specimen here is thinner, about half the depth of a standard bridge deck, but it's made with the reinforced concrete that you would expect that you would find in a bridge deck. The next one actually simulates the bridge deck a little bit better. It's the depth of the bridge deck, and inside of these specimens we have some um, some areas that are delaminations. We have some um, defects that we've intentionally put into the beams, into these slab systems. And the big one here is also on uh, steel beams uh, supports like you would find in an actual bridge 